And of course, you're here today because you're now enjoying not being a manager of a, of a Saturday club as such, and that's why you're smiling. But um, <laughs> St. Austo, uh, you've seen them a couple of times this season. I, I understand they lost today, so that means Salt Ash have played 10 1 10. I won't ask you about St. Austo, but I will ask you about the rest <clears> of the league. Uh, how do you think it's shaping up? It's looking a, a tight affair, isn't it? Yeah, it's. Um it's going to be exciting, isn't it? Um, Soltash are doing, doing what every team dreams of doing that has aspirations of winning the league, and that's getting off to a flyer, building momentum and confidence, and, and at the moment they're just going from strength to strength. But it's a long season, there's a winter to get through, there's other competitions that I'm sure they'll be hoping to be competitive in. Um, we'll see whether they've, got the, uh, whether they've got the backbone to stay around for over 50, 55 games a season, but nonetheless they're off to a flyer and well done today, away from home. Great win at St Austell. Um, so you've got to credit them with, with, with how, how far they've come so far. Um, the league itself, anyone from four or five. Uh, your Tavistocks, your Parkways, your Bodmins. Parkway struggling a little bit in a minute for uh, a bit of momentum, but not losing. Um, they've got a, an abundance of talent to choose from in their squad. Bodmin, from what I understand, haven't seen them myself come a long way since a rebuild in the summer and, and look really exciting going forwards and of course uh, my old club and Austell just struggling for a bit of pattern and shape at the moment and, but I'm sure they'll only get better so perhaps Soltash's great start and St Austell's indifferent start might flip around before or after Christmas and uh, and hopefully so for St Austell. What about the likes of the Plymouth Argyle, um, those sort of <coughs> clubs on the fringe, they can still have a big impact though can't they? Yeah there's, there are more clubs, Falmouth, Plymouth Argyle, um, Tiverton, um, you know, it might be of injustice to them to say that they are on the fringe but you know, once the league kind of takes shape after Christmas I'm sure they will be fringe clubs is my prediction but they will be taking points as they already have done Sonostal at Tiverton uh, Sonostal at Plymouth Argyle um, so there's, there's, there's going to be points dropped um, to the fringe sides as well so all in all it's, a, it's broken down into three groups I believe um, this season in this league and, but uh, anyone, anyone in the top half is capable of beating anybody it's a really competitive league this season and a final word from you uh, on, uh, on the happening of St Blasey. I mean, none of us really want to see uh, the club uh, where they are at the moment. And obviously you as a former manager and player there, it must be uh, feeling for them a bit. Mm. It hurts. It hurts. Um, I've been down there a couple of times. Don't now fancy with the, the job? The freedom. Uh, no, Dave. Um, I don't <laughs> fancy any job. Just to, um, just to make sure we draw a line under that. I don't fancy any job at the moment. And I'm, I'm ha happy to be... Uh, taken part in the role that Glynn's asked me to do with the county youth uh, so no but back to the, the subject that you, you brought up I'm really feel for St Blasey at the moment I really hope they can get uh, off the field things sorted so that on the field can follow suit pretty damn soon